This is breaking news from KSL. I'm angry. I'm proud. And uh, I'm, I'm concerned. Those are my emotions right now. An emotional day for the Provo Police Department as one of their own is shot in the line of duty. That officer is now in the hospital after he was hit twice during what Provo police are calling a gun battle. The suspect was also shot during the incident at an apartment complex near 900 East and 100 South. We've got team coverage from our news specialist. Morgan Wall spoke with witnesses about what they saw. We start with Andrew Adams, who just got an update from investigators. Andrew, there's some good news about how the officer's doing. Well, there is, Deanie. We're told that he's in stable condition, and we're hearing his name for the first time. It's Officer John Oseguera. Police say he was shot twice in the lower extremities, also suffered a shrapnel injury to his head. Now, let's reset to a little bit earlier this afternoon. Police say this unfolded a little bit before 1 o'clock here uh, with a man armed with a gun acting erratically. They also learned a window had apparently been shot out. Officers confronted the man, at which point there was an exchange of gunfire. The suspect was hit as was the officer. Just within the past hour, Provo's police chief told reporters about the toll this has taken on his family, his two young daughters, and his wife. Wife's in shock, but she's handling it well. We have a team that's with her. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a very appropriate reaction. It's what you would expect her to receive. Um, yeah, the officer actually called her on his way to the hospital, told her he loved her. Police also provided reporters with some more details about the circumstances officers faced when they got here. The chief says he learned the suspect was armed with two semi-automatic weapons and he retreated into his home. Officers were eventually able to get him into custody and off to medical care. No update on his condition. An officer-involved critical incident team is investigating this. Two officers have been placed on paid administrative leave pending the investigation. Back to you. Andrew, thanks for the update. Dave? As bullets were flying, one family says they feared they wouldn't make it out alive. Our Morgan Wolf spoke to them, and Morgan, one of the neighbors even has a newborn. There are a lot of young families in this area. There's a baseball field right beside me. There's a playground nearby. And if you walk over this way, this is the apartment complex where this shooting happened. And one family told me that they are thankful that they have brick walls because they found bullet holes outside of their apartment. So Provo has always been kind of like a quiet college town. It was a sleepy Thursday afternoon. Saw that the glass door was shattered. When the Ottery family was jolted awake. We saw a cop run out of the building saying shots fired. So I grabbed my baby and ran into the bathroom to hunker down. Gripping her two week old baby in her arms. Madison Foy says at the minute it's felt like hours. She said there's three bullets in the brick by our windows because we were directly across from it. Mom Melanie Ottery was in town to help out with the newborn, not expecting this to unfold. I mean, you see this stuff in the movies. You don't think that it's going to happen in real life. One officer and suspect were shot. It's, it's insane. Something people never thought could have happened in this college town. I guess it's just kind of unnerving a little bit that it's so close. Like we live like right over here. And yeah, we need to be a little bit more alert, I think. Definitely. <laughs> Police say that this was an isolated incident, and given the amount of people that were home during the middle of the day, they are thankful that no one else was hurt. In Provo, I'm Morgan Wolf for KSL 5 News. Morgan, thank you. Stay with KSL as we learn more about Officer John Osterguerra's condition and a possible motive behind the shooting. Watch for updates on air, online at kslTV.com and over on KSL News.